You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Moose Toys for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today because I am going to check out another What's in the Box from Moose Toys. It's always nice to get these in the mail, never knowing what's inside. Of course, until I open it, which I have to do to see what's in there to make sure it all fits the channel and there's nothing in there that gives away any personal information. All right, so hashtag Moose Toys. Let's see what's in the box. I will bring up my tripod. I will bring this in and uh, we will see what's in the box. Ooh, you got a little glimpse here. Fortnite. Now, I will have to say I have had a few requests to check out these new toys and uh and they showed up so here we are ages eight plus epic games i have the skull trooper here let's see here and from what i know now i have never personally played the game for more than a few minutes i've seen it played i've watched gameplays i know the game in that regard so we have sergeant jonesy and carbide i believe these are all skins and i know the skins come in different categories and we have omega and bright bomber Okay, and then the last pack here is the Love Ranger and Technique, spelled with a K. Now, there's some other stuff in the box, so let me see if I can show it all to you right now here. All right, we'll learn more as we go along here. There is a Battle Royale Collection sticker, it looks like. And then they sent me this Fortnite Battle Royale Collection, so it looks like they've set it up in a little figure pose there. The other side says 100 figures to collect. You never know who's dropping next. Okay. And there's some buttons. They sent me some nice buttons. A nice little set of stuff here. Let's see. Fortnite, thanks for playing. Now I need to look at the other side. Oh, there is. To redeem your spray, visit Fortnite.com redeem. And I can show it because it is one of those ones you have to scratch off. And then there's four buttons here. Two, three, four. Okay. I'm not done. And these really neat looking stickers of a very nice quality that they sent me. Now, this is all bonus stuff that you would only get if you were part of this moose. That looks like a window cling. I think it is. Oh, it is a sticker. Interesting the way it's printed on that sheet. Okay, so there is the whole collection they sent me. Very nice of them. And then this little sheet here. You never know who's dropping in. Fortnite collectibles are here, and we wanted you to be one of the first people in the world to get your hands on these awesome mini action figures. From Epic Games and Moose Toys, we call our line the Battle Royale Collection because we're rolling out 100 figures over the course of 2019. We'll constantly be dropping new figs, We'll keep sending you more figures whenever we release a new wave. Wow, very cool. And there is the hashtag, hashtag Fortnite IRL, hashtag Moose Figs, and hashtag Battle Royale Collection. There you go. If you ask your fans, uh, these will hit in December. Okay, so letting you know that. All right, well, I want to get some out of the package. Let's do it. You've seen all the little swag they sent me. So let's open up some of these and the single one, learn about how they're packaged and more about the figures. Okay, so here is the packaging. In case you didn't notice, it is angled. And uh, this one uh, says Skull Trooper here, 016, I believe. Fortnite there, not much information on the bottom. The top does say Fortnite and it's got the clip for hanging on a pegboard or something. And then there is the back, and it says uh, the Skull Trooper, but it's got arrows pointing to other ones. And you get one figure, two accessories, and one figure base. Okay? A hundred figures to collect. All right, I do need to give myself a little room here. Now, uh, it is taped on the top. Not all the way across, though. Just next to the little pull tabs. That makes it harder to get into. Okay, one more tab there, got it. See what I'm saying? And it's taped on the side. So there's two pieces of tape up here. And then, let's see, I gotta wiggle it out. You know me, I always try to save my packaging. There, now I can save it. This is what's in it, that's a little background. 
And then there's a little base. Okay, so it's just in a little plastic sleeve. Very cool looking weapon. I'm sure these all have special names and I do not know them, but it does not want to stand up. There it goes. I guess I'm more curious to see if anything moves on the figures and I don't think so. I think they are just plastic. Let's see if it's a soft plastic or hard plastic. There's a little tie in there I can't get to with either of my tools. Okay, I had to cut that in two spots. Let's see if he pops out easier now. Ooh, ooh, he flipped around. Did you see him flip around? All right. So nothing moves except for arms, legs, nothing. Head does turn. All right. And then this weapon, this one comes out. And there is what looks to be like a little peg in there. I'm not sure if that was underneath. Oh, was that in there? Huh probably just underneath it so I didn't see it okay and then this one is gun looks to be like he's ready to hold it like this let us see yes he will now will he stand up that is he does stand up all right at first I thought with that angle he won't he will stand up and then let's see the base there's little holes on his feet and they fit into the pegs on the base. Now I'm actually kind of forcing his legs to, to fit. And then, oh, and it popped out, see that? They're so close together that to get them to line up, it's a little harder. So I'm just gonna use one. It's probably like a standard base for all the figures. So some probably fit easily in both and some don't. Let's see, for display purposes, what can you do here? Can you do both? This one and then this one just for holding it. Not a normal way to hold a gun, but uh, at least we can see the figure. Okay, let me give you a little closer look. So the height. Well, actually, I'll come back with the next set with a ruler and I'll give you some heights and we'll check out a whole other box set next. All right, set number two, this is the Love Ranger and Technique. Now the picture on the back, let me just see, what's the, what's the deal with the picture on the back? So it looks like they come in, these packs have two characters side by side. Okay, and I cut the tape already to ease the packaging removal. Very similar style. It's got a bright pink on the inside. And then I can get you the height. And I did not cut these inner ones. I thought, well, I gotta do something. Yes, yeah, so it looks like the bases are all exactly the same. This one has removable wings. His arms and head move. So it appears all the legs are in these poses. Now this one here only has one all on his bottom foot, so I guess I'll put him in the center. Or he won't stand up on his own. Oh, no, I'm going to put it off to the side. Okay. And he has this little blue potion. And will it fit in his hand? Mm, yes, it's got to go this way, and it looks almost looks like it screws in just a little bit. Okay. I guess I'm curious how many of my watchers who are out there who actually watch it. I mean, play it. Or if you watch it, and you're one of those that just likes to watch gameplays. Okay, so here again, she has two weapons. Now, they all have this extra little tab here. I'm curious now. The other one had it too. What's that for? She's much skinnier. In regards to her arms, look, the connecting point here. Everything is super skinny on this one. And then this is some kind of hook weapon. And it almost looks like her hand. I don't even know how this would be held. Her hand is so small. What is it? That you'll have to teach me. Very interesting. Looks like it's a spot for her thumb. 
and it'll rest right there and then there are two holes on the bottom here again they don't line up perfectly for this figure so I think you have an option to place it in either one okay let me give you a nice look at that heights so this one is about two inches tall this one about two inches tall this one uh, about the same they're all about two inches tall and then there is a the little turnaround there you see that one I have to say the details pretty nice I've checked out a lot of smaller figures like this and I think the detail is pretty good on these all right let's just go into the next one this is the next one this is Omega and Bright Bomber Just leave them all out so I can you can look at them make decisions quality seems to be pretty nice on these except when they fall over there you go okay. base base Alright, so who plays? Let me know. This is hilarious, this one here. There is a little unicorn horse. One of those riding horses. Look at the quality. Very nice. And color and detail is really nice. And there's also this little pack. Let's see. Oh, pack for the back. Okay, and then let's see, I'm guessing there's a purpose for this extra tab, but I have not found it yet. It's really close to her face, let's do it this way. It's still very close the way her arms are to her face. Alright, this one, pretty interesting looking weapon, there's like a plunger. So the weapons themselves are not spongy, but they are, ooh, that one's not, bendable in spots. See that? Like a rubber. Struggling. Struggling to remove. It is good to see it looks like for the most part they're in some kind of like pose position that you can set them up with if you want see that one okay i'm just gonna go right into the last set this one is the sergeant jonesy and carbide So I guess Fortnite players, fill me in here on some details, you know, are these actual names of players or just the skins? The information is very limited on the packaging. And for us noobs, that's like a pitchfork. And he's got a mean looking weapon. Look at that. So basically we have learned all their heads turn. Their legs are in a fixed position. And he has got one cool looking weapon which fits right in his hand. So I'm leaving it. And then an extra pitchfork. Oh, his back. All right. Oh, now I'm seeing. Do they all have a spot where that extra accessory can go okay so I am learning nothing oh there is a spot so this can go in his back ah then 
and this can go in his hand, his super duper plunger club. That's the pack, yep. Yeah. That's set, that's set, let's see. There is, okay, so let's put this back here, even though it's kind of obtrusively big. Is the scale correct to the skin or the, I don't know. Okay. I've set these up wrong, you know. Don't uh, don't lose it on me. It's okay. Doing my best here. Okay. Last one. I might just do some photos at the end of this video, showing you all the different. Uh, weaponry and the figures themselves okay so I can put this on his back already so now that I figured that out and then he's gripping on this pretty cool looking weapon all right look at that okay so what I'm gonna do oh don't fall I had them all nicely set, and you wanted to fall. There, don't fall again. I'm trying to get them all positioned a little bit closer so I can get a better shot. I'm going to take some pictures, put a little slideshow up for you. And then you get a better look at all the figures. And I will say, thanks for watching! If anybody wants to learn more, look in that description. If you want to teach me, then leave it in the comments. I can learn about new toys like this and the game itself. So stay tuned. I'll put some YouTube music in there. I'll take pictures of the figures, maybe two of each figure, and then their little accessories. So you get nice close-ups of everything so you can learn more about them. Again, you know the heights now. You know that many of the pieces are bendable, heads turn, arms move, legs are stationary, they have holes in their backs and holes on their feet. So enjoy the slideshow and thanks for watching. Later!
If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.